What's up guys, welcome back to 4x4 Jumpman and today we're going to be installing my Rhino Rack Vortex on my Ford Ranger. So in the box you'll get the kit. So in the kit you'll get a Rhino Rack 2500 leg kit. And then you also get the 2500 pad and clamp kit. And then you also get the vortex bar so I got two vortex bar front and rear and I got the option to get black so I'm just gonna open the box so this is the VA126B So I'm going to open the pad and clap, clap kit. So it's got the four legs. So I'm going to open the 2500 leg kit and it's the RLK VA. So inside the box you get the Rhino Rack stickers, you get the keys, you get this and you get the legs and you get four of the legs so inside the box you get your instructions make sure you follow the instructions and sp specific to your vehicle so I've got the Ford Ranger and it's a double cab so you got to make sure that you're reading the instructions for the double cab So it comes with stickers, so make sure you put all the stickers in the correct um, legs. That way when you put it up, it's not backwards, so it's on the right way. So what you need to do is remove the end cap. And there's a blue key there to remove um, and unlock it. So inside the vortex bar, you've got the strip. You take it out from there. So the rack has a measurement strip and you can use that to do your measurements. But you can also get a measuring tape. So the measurement for the legs is going to be 191 centimeters and that's for Ford Ranger dual cab. So the measurement strip goes on the back here and you place it in there. So now you can put together the legs. So by using the key, take out the legs like that. So what's the other one? So you need to use this tool to loosen the screws. So what you need to do is just put this in and click it. That's one. And do the other side. I'll tell you it's got an arrow where it's facing. So this is when you use the stickers and it's got the label front right, front left and then when you're doing the re bars you do the rear right and the rear left 
so I'm going to be doing the front right and the front left so you just need to put the sticker right there so what you need to do is put in the legs but make sure you loosen the screw up before you put it in so I've followed these instructions so with the vortex bar it's 191 millimeters for the front crossbar and over here for the rear is 180 millimeters so you've got the pads now I'm gonna um, install it for these ones so I'm doing the front measurement so with the front it's gonna be 200 millimeters from here to here okay and then I've got the arrows here to put it in so measure 200 from there to here So from where you measure the 200, it's going to be 800. So from 200, from the arrow that you put, you're going to be doing it from here to 800. And then you just do the same process as the other side. Alright, so you just need to put the front first and make sure it's in between just around here. So for the clamps, the rear is 145 and the front bars are sub 0146. So with the clamp, you need to remove this part. Okay, so with the clamp, make sure you tighten it. And make sure it's in line with the arrow. So once you put the clamp on and put the cover on, and it comes with a lock. Make sure you measure the leftover strip. Put it back here. And just cut it to size, which is from there. got the roof rack on now and I installed it pretty good uh, it takes a while to do it properly but managed to do it so if 
you like this video please like and subscribe to 4x4 Jumpman and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. So this episode is brought to you by Mad Toys Garage. They got quality mods for your 4x4. Here I've got the water spray and it's got a quad nozzle water rail that when fed with a pressured water feed, spraying a mist of water, cooling the surface of an intercooler. I'll add a link on their website so go and check them out.